Hello, my favorite sister, Vivian. How are you today? Oh, um, hi, Megan. I'm okay. How are you? Oh, I'm just fabulous. Thank you so much for asking. You? Fabulous? Why is that? Because I just got all the confirmation details for our tour of Italy. Oh, you mean you and Holden. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? I mean, we've been talking about going to Italy since we were little girls. Now I finally get to go. Uh, yeah, Megan, that's right. You finally get to go. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll be able to go together someday. You never know, right? Well, I don't know the way my career seems to be going. It's hard to tell. I'm sure things will pick up soon, dear. Perhaps Holden can help you. Maybe his law office is hiring. For what? Custodians? Well, yes, exactly. Unless you think it's beneath you or something. <laughs> oh, no. Never, Megan. Well, then I'll ask him. No, that's okay, Megan. My friend Fuzzy is getting me a job at his restaurant. It's fine. Are you sure? I mean, you could probably start tomorrow. Fuzzy isn't exactly the most reliable of characters. What are you talking about? Fuzzy is awesome. That name, though. What were his parents thinking? It's his last name. It's short for Binkle Fuzzy. Oh, well, now I understand why he goes by something else. Right. Well... His family has a restaurant, so I think I'm going to be waiting tables for a while. I do wish you'd go back to school or something, Vivi. You're so smart. These jobs are beneath you. What the hell, Megan? These people are my friends, okay? Well, I know you need money fast. And if this restaurant job doesn't work out, why don't you house sit for us? You mean while you're on vacation? But doesn't Holden's niece usually do that? Well, yeah, she just started her second semester at Columbia and can't do it this time. So you want me to stay at your house? Well, that's what house sitting is, right? And besides, we need someone to look after Bree. Over the parrot? Yes, yes, the parrot. God, are you still afraid of birds after all these years? Of course I'm still afraid of birds. Birds are terrifying. Well, we'll be paying you $200 a day. Uh, really? I think that's obscene, but Holden thinks it's fair. You know these rich kids, they have no concept of money. And how long are you going to be away? 10 days. So, two grand. Um, well, I guess I could face my fears for that much. Yeah, well, I thought so. Be here at 8 a.m. Friday sharp. I'll leave you instructions on the kitchen counter. Is that it? Ugh. And a thanks, love. Have fun. Um, sure. Thanks, Megan. Yo, Vivian! What's up? Are you over at the Mac Mansion yet? Oh, yeah. I've been here all morning. Thankfully, the beautiful couple were gone before I arrived. So, what's this note you were telling me about? Let's see. Wi-Fi passcodes for all of the Bluetooth and smart devices, which is, like, everything. Oh, of course. I'm sure it's a very smart house. A genius, in fact. Well, I think I'll be using about three rooms, max. So, about the same as your apartment? Yeah, I guess so. What about the parrot? Bree has his own room. Oh, really? The bird room? That must be nice. It is nice. It's actually nice in my guest room. Why are you staying in the guest room? Why don't you just sleep in their giant bedroom? I'm forbidden from entering. Wow. Seriously? Yeah, maybe they have a lot of toys in there or something. You mean like Lincoln Logs or something? Yes, Fuzzy. Like Lincoln Logs. Well, it all seems very mysterious to me. No, not really. They just want to be a pain and make things as difficult as possible for me. Well, they can't be trying too hard with what they're paying you and all. I mean, if you don't want to do it next time, please tell them I have good references. Yeah, you're right, I guess. But honestly, the more I look around here, the more I feel like I should have asked for more than just pain and suffering. Why is that? Is the floor made of lava? There are just all these pictures of them hanging everywhere. Their lavish wedding, the amazing vacations. Did you just actually use the word lavish? Yeah, I said lavish. Big deal. All right. Was it lavish? Well, it was. You were there. Uh, no. I was not. Are you sure? I could have sworn you were there. I think a bottle of champagne or three was there. Well, anyway, it just always feels like they're throwing their money in my face. I mean, 200 a day to house it? I'm not going to say no, but maybe I should have. Why would you ever do a thing like that? Because, Fuzzy, you don't see it from the outside, but they're just trying to buy me. And for what end? To lord it over me later, of course. Oh, look at all we've done for you, blah blah blah. Man. You and your sister need some serious therapy. And it's the same thing with this bird, you know? Bree? I mean, what do I know about taking care of an exotic bird? Not much. Exactly. 
Even less than not much. Next to nothing. I know I have to feed it or it will die and that's about it. It's amazing that your sister trusted you with him. Yeah, unless she wants him dead or something. Maybe for the insurance money. He's like a $4,000 gray parrot. Wow, can I come to see him? I don't know. I'm not supposed to have people over. Oh, come on. What are we, 16? Well, I'll have to learn how to mess with the security footage first, at least. So why are you so afraid of birds anyway? Come on, you know the story. How many times have I told you? Yes, but I love it. So what's one more time? Okay, okay. Well, I was 10 years old and we were at the zoo. Yeah? And there was this lady doing some wild bird show or something, and one got loose and landed on my head. Hey, are you over there laughing or something? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just the image of a 10-year-old you standing there with a bird on your head screaming gets me every time. Well, I'm glad that my trauma amuses you. But I hate birds now, and I'm scared to death of them. Yeah, but it's not like a phobia, though. I mean, you can still feed him, right? Yeah, I can. But I'm very, very careful. And I make myself a drink first. How about I come over and help? That would be a great excuse to let me come over. Yeah, you need your friend Fuzzy to help you take care of the big, scary bird. Well, that may work. Actually, I have to go in there and feed him now. Have you had your drink yet? Downing the last bit of Zinfandel right now. Oh, I don't know how you can drink that sweet stuff. I don't know how you can drink monster energy drinks, but do you hear me judging? Fuzzy? Fuzzy, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Nothing. What's up? The most insane thing just happened. Okay. What happened? Well, I went in to feed Bree, and man, you have to see his bedroom. It's crazy. But anyway, I was approaching the cage with the food. They keep him in a cage? I'm surprised. Well, it's more like a glass enclosure. Like Hannibal Lecter, then. Yeah, like Hannibal Lecter, if that helps you. But anyway, I get up to the cage and I'm trying not to look at him. And all of a sudden I hear, Vivi is so lame. Vivi is so lame. Wait, wait, wait. What? Who said it? Who do you think said it, Fuzzy? You mean Bree said that? Well, I certainly didn't say it myself. No way. That's impossible. He did not. It must have been some kind of a recording or something. Some kind of a joke. Oh yeah? Then why is it that when I asked him to say it again, he totally obliged me? Really? Huh. Well... That was polite of him, I suppose. What else did he say? Well, I asked him where he heard that from, and he just kept saying, Vivi is so lame. Vivi is so lame. <laughs> Stop it, Fuzzy! This is not funny! I'm sorry, Vivi, but it is objectively funny. Like, the parrot is parroting your sister's true feelings for you. Well, it's not like I don't know them already. I just wish she wouldn't tell her bird about it. It sort of makes you wonder who else she could be telling that to. Yeah, that's exactly my point. Well, so what if the parrot thinks you're lame? He's just a parrot. It's not the parrot that thinks I'm lame, Fuzzy. It's my sister. Well, who cares about her either? All you do is brag about what an elitist bimbo she is. I know, but she's still my older sister. I'm always going to care what she thinks of me for some reason. Well, you should abandon that right here and now. Save you a lot of heartache. Take it from someone who knows. You mean you had something similar between you and Robert? Oh yeah. Of course, it wasn't about success between Robert and I. I was gonna say... I aspired to do more than sit on my mom's couch playing video games all day. And I easily achieved it. No, for us, it was girls. Oh god. Well, what do you want me to say? I'm a boy after all. Yeah, but I mean, what a cliche. You never got jealous over the guys your sister dated. Hell no. Those guys were all totally douche nozzles. Just not my type at all. Well, I guess all of Robert's girlfriends were my type then. I don't know. But he was just always the cool, good-looking, tall one. I was like the runty little dweeb. Well, it takes one to know one, I guess. At least Robert's cat doesn't tell you how much you suck. Not in words, no. Hello, my darling sister, how are you? Uh, Megan, what time is it? Well, it's 11.15, are you still sleeping, you lazy bug? No, it's 5.15, Megan. You're six hours ahead of me, remember? Oh, that's right. Well, oops. Anyway, I just wanted you to know that we're having a wonderful time. Just wonderful. Oh, great. Well, I'm really happy for you. Where are you guys at now? 
Cooper in Tuscany. Can you believe it? Wow. Well, bring me back some grapes, okay? Grapes? I can't bring grapes on an airplane, silly. Um, well, how about Holden? Is he having a good time? Oh, Holden is such a drag. Oh, gee. Sorry about that. Yes, he's drinking wine all the time and quoting The Godfather. It's genuinely driving me insane. Well, um, glad you guys are having a good time. And how's my little fluffy feathered boy doing? Oh, he's fine. Is he eating well? Of course. I'm following all the instructions you left me to a T. So don't worry about that. Oh, I'm not worried at all, sis. I know he's in good hands with you. Really? Do you really think that? Well, of course, hun. Why wouldn't I? Otherwise, I wouldn't have left him with you, right? Right. Well, I just had no idea he was so chatty. You had no idea a gray parrot was so chatty? I mean, I knew that they talked, but I didn't know they had such a memory. A memory? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. No, seriously, Vivi. Are you playing memory games with him or something? No, it's just I told him a joke on the first day I was here, and he repeated the punchline today. Oh, yes. Well, in that case, it's not unusual at all. For he's an amazing creature, isn't he? Um, sure. Oh, come on. You have to admit he's beautiful. His colors are just so vibrant, aren't they? Yeah, if they only were not attached to a bird. Oh, isn't that funny? So funny, I forgot to laugh. Well, sorry. I'm just freaked out by birds, you know? So spending time with Bree hasn't healed yet? Well, I haven't really been spending that much time with him. What do you mean you haven't? Well, I bring him his food and stuff and turn the TV on for him, but I figure he wants his privacy. But Vivi, didn't you read the instructions? He must have company at least 10 hours a day. 10 hours a day? But Megan, I'm hardly ever even home 10 hours a day. But you sleep there, don't you? Well, yeah, of course I sleep here. Well, then why don't you just sleep in Bree's room with him? You want me to sleep in the bird's room? Yes. If you insist on leaving the house during the day, it's not like you have a job, by the way. Megan, I'm sorry, but if I try to sleep anywhere near Bree, well, I just won't sleep at all. Well, he must have some human company. Otherwise, he may lose his speech. Well, I have an idea, but you may not like it. I'm sure I won't, but what is it? Well, I may be afraid of birds, but my friend Fuzzy really likes them. Fuzzy? Are you for real? I'm just saying, maybe he could come over and spend some time with Bree while I'm out running errands and stuff. But my instructions strictly said no company, Vivi. What about that don't you understand? Okay, but I just thought that maybe Bree might like having someone around who, you know, actually likes him. Well, okay, fine. I guess it might work, but are you sure that he's trustworthy? Honestly, sis, Fuzzy is much more trustworthy than I am. Well, I'll have to talk it over with Holden, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Thanks, sis. I really appreciate it. He's not like your boyfriend, is he? No, Megan. Okay, good, because otherwise, you know, gross. Ugh. Hey, Fuzzy, I'll be back in a little while. How's it going over there? This bird is a total trip, Vivi. For real! We're having a hell of a conversation over here! Oh yeah? You two are really hanging it off there then, huh? Oh yeah. I'm teaching him dirty jokes. It's so cool! Oh, come on, Fuzzy. Don't do that. Why not? It's hilarious. Because when my sister gets home and Bree starts spouting the seven words you can't say on TV, I'm in big trouble. Well, he already said that you were lame. It's payback then, right? I don't know about that. I just want to get through the rest of the week without any incident. So, how much does one of these birds go for? Google told me upwards of 10 grand. Dang! Are you serious? Yeah. Can you believe that? That honestly makes me feel a little uncomfortable hanging out with him. But why? I mean, I just found out Bree is worth a lot more than me. Money can change relationships, you know? Oh, come on. Get real. So what does your brother-in-law do that he can afford a $10,000 bird in this crazy tacky house? He's some kind of a big deal lawyer for Ross, Pearl, and Roselli downtown. Ross, Pearl, and Roselli. Isn't that the law firm involved in that money laundering scandal? What are you talking about? You haven't heard about that? Don't you read the papers? The papers? Who reads the papers? My dad doesn't even read the paper anymore. Well, they are being investigated by the government for money laundering. No arrests have been made or anything, but everyone is very suspicious. Well, I haven't heard of anything like that. Maybe you should ask Bree. Maybe I will. What are you going to ask him? I don't know. He's a pretty smart bird. He'll probably plead the fifth. Vivi! What, Fuzzy? I was sleeping. Where are you? I'm in the bird room with Bree. Wait, you're still here? Yes. 
and you will not believe what Bree just told me. What did he just tell you? Are you two, like, having full-on conversations now? I was sitting there, kind of dozing off, you know? He hasn't said anything for a long time. But then, out of nowhere, Bree says, Hide the money under the bed. Hide the money under the bed. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. Hide the money. Bedroom wall. Didn't you say that you were forbidden from going into your sister's bedroom? Yeah, so what? It's the laundered money, Vivi. It's in the bedroom, under the bed. Oh, come on. You think Holden is involved in this scandal thing and he is personally holding on to the money? Well, maybe they're trying to turn him into a patsy or something. I mean, he does seem like a pretty easy mark. Yeah, that is true. He definitely is an easy mark. Always has been. Look at who he married. Well, how crazy is it then that he'd be hiding money in there? It's crazy, believe me. But then why would Bree say that to me? He probably just overheard it on an old episode of Columbo or something. I don't think so. I think your sister doesn't want you going in her bedroom because her dimwit lawyer husband is wrapped up in a criminal scheme and she doesn't want you finding out. Well, we can't go into their bedroom, Fuzzy. She'll be able to tell I was in there. I don't know how, but she will. Come on, Vivi, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. She'll totally know. No, I mean are you serious about caring what she thinks and feels anymore? Well, yeah, I guess so. But she treats you like crap and she makes you treat yourself like crap. No, I do not. And she has you, a grown woman, too scared to simply walk into a room. But you know what? No, what? Bogey? She doesn't have me too scared to do it. Don't go in there, Fuzzy. I mean it. But don't you want to see what's under the bed? Don't you want to see if Bree is telling the truth? No, and I don't want you to either. Well, then I guess you're going to have to beat me to it. Hey, are you okay in there? You didn't fall in, did you? <laughs> uh, no, Fuzzy. I'm not even sitting down. I'm examining my busted lip in the mirror. Oh, really? Well, maybe you should after what we just did to each other. I swear, I had no idea you were right around the corner. Yeah, well, I didn't either. Maybe you shouldn't have made me try to chase you to my sister's bedroom. How's your nose? Still bleeding, but I'll live. Well, you know, I guess that's what we get. Get for what? Trying to snoop in my sister's room, of course. Trying to? What do you mean? I'm looking right now. What do you mean you're looking right now? You're in the bedroom? Yeah, I am, of course. I'm pushing the bed back right now. Dang, it's heavy. Ugh, well, I guess it's too late now. What do you see? Bree also said something about a blue backpack. Well, is there one? Yeah! Holy crap, there's a blue backpack right here! Wait a minute, are you serious? You found it there? Right where Bree said. Should I open it? Well, probably not, but this is getting too weird. So then, I should. Um, fine. Just a peek, though. Okay, here I go. Whoa. What is it? What's in the bag? Is it money? Um... Yeah. It is? How much? Lots. Lots? Like, how much? Like, lots and lots. So you think it's from the law firm? Of course it is. Bree was right. And crazier than that, my brother-in-law is helping his firm launder money. And your sister knows about it. Hey sis, what's up? How's it going? Oh, um... Hey, sis. How's the trip going? How's Italy? Oh, well, it's okay, I guess. You guess? What do you mean? Well, I'm just a bit lonely is all. Lonely? Why are you lonely? Where's your husband? He had to meet with some business people of his or something. In Italy? What people with the law firm would be doing business there? Well, I don't know. I was curious about that, too. It just popped up out of nowhere, he said. And he got in a taxi and ran off. Um, do you think it's maybe something... Shady? What? Shady? Why would Holden be involved in anything shady, Vivian? Well, I just heard that Ross, Pearl, and Roselli were involved in some sort of a scandal or something. Oh, that. Well, it's just been blown up by the corporate media, don't you think? Oh, is that what Holden has been telling you? Just what are you getting at, Vivian? Well, I wasn't going to tell you this, but I found the blue backpack. Blue backpack? What blue backpack? The one under your bed, Megan. The one you didn't want me to find. That's why you didn't want me in your room, wasn't it, Megan? You're in my room? What are you doing in my room? Look, uh, it was an accident. 
Was it an accident that you ended up in my room? And just how does that work? I, uh, I needed to borrow some tampons. Don't lie, Vivi. I've known you since you were brought home from the hospital. All right, it wasn't me. It was Fuzzy, okay? Fuzzy? Fuzzy was in my room? Blame your parrot. What does Bree have to do with this? Bree started going on about money hidden under your bed, and Fuzzy just had to go check it out. I tried to stop him, I swear. Money? What money? There's like, tons and tons of cash under your bed, Megan. You didn't know? I knew I... I wasn't supposed to look in the blue bag, but he never told me why. You mean you didn't know he was involved in money laundering? No. No, I had no idea. Well, what did you think was in the blue backpack? I don't know. His old playboys that he didn't want me to see or something? His old playboys? That's what it felt like. Honestly, I was too afraid to know. So then why didn't you want me in your room then? My sex toys. What else? Ugh. So you think Holden is off with some criminal people right now? I honestly have no idea who he's out there with or how he's been paying for your lifestyle for all these years. What do you mean, Vivi? Well, I think Holden may be a criminal, Megan, and a very successful one at that. Well, he was. What do you mean? You're not gonna turn him in, are you? Me? No, I don't want anything to do with this. But Fuzzy, well, he has a very strict sense of right and wrong. What do you mean? I mean, he's already on his way to the police station with the money now. The cops weren't too happy when I informed my sister that Fuzzy had already turned in the money to them. They seemed to think that's what drove them into hiding. But then again, without our help, they would have never found the evidence they needed. So Ross, Pearl, and Roselia are already being shut down. The parking lot is cleared, and they've already taken down the website. I have to admit, I feel pretty bad. Even though my brother-in-law is a criminal, my sister's probably going to lose everything. Her house, all her possessions. But what can I do? Maybe it's Mother Karma's sly sense of humor getting back at her. As for Bree, Fuzzy adopted him, and he's very happy to have a new friend. Eventually, Megan and Holden were found in Sicily, arrested, and brought back to the States. Holden was charged with bank fraud, wire fraud, and money laundering, and he was sentenced to seven years in prison. My sister agreed to testify against her husband in exchange for having all charges against her dropped. She's now working as a custodian at a pediatrician's office. I still feel a bit guilty about the whole situation, but deep down, I know it was the right thing to do. Now, I'm working at Fuzzy's family restaurant and quite happy there. Fuzzy and Bree make for interesting roommates, ensuring I'll never visit.